Ever played Dark Cloud 2? You like RPGs? Well, if you do, keep watching and I will explain how Dark Cloud 2 is a top 10 RPG. We're gonna be talking about Dark Cloud 2. It's one of my favorite games of all time. One of my favorite RPGs of all time. I think it's ranked top 10 in my list. And we're gonna be talking about why it's ranked top 10 in many other people's lists. And it was rated in the top 20 percentile for PS2 games. That is insane, that's insane. Yo, so please, Subscribe if you haven't already, hit that notification bell so you're always up to date on another video that's dropping on this channel. And without further ado, let's get into this. All right, all right, all right. So Dark Cloud 2, okay, is one of the best RPGs that PS2 had to offer. PlayStation 2, anybody wanna dispute that? Leave it in the comments below. I'm happy to talk to you guys. I'm happy to hear what you guys have to say. And it also opens up the idea of new games that I haven't played. I'm an RPG fanatic. I've been playing RPGs since I was about six years old. And I've been playing the Final Fantasy series, Chrono Trigger, you know, the big heavyweights. You know Chrono Trigger is up there in the RPG category. Without Chrono Trigger and the Final Fantasies, Breath of Fires, and all of those other games that came before Dark Chronicle and Dark Cloud, none of this would have ever been. There's a lot of aspects that Dark Chronicle and Dark Cloud 2 have taken from Chrono Trigger and from Final Fantasy and even from Legend of Zelda. People have even went to say that Dark Chronicle, Dark Cloud 2 was the Legend of Zelda for PlayStation 2. I even raised my eyebrows at that. The voice acting, the storytelling, the idea that your time traveling is affecting the future, it really introduced the multiverse theory to me. Also introduced what happens in time will affect the future and the past. It was such a rich and diverse story for the time. It came out in February of 2003 for the PlayStation 2. I have never really played a immersive RPG role-playing game before then and that was my first taste pretty much ps2 was pretty much my first console that i actually purchased on my own i had a nintendo 64 i had systems floating around about the house but a full-fledged console that was my first one. when i played dark cloud 2 let me tell you that game had me seated in my room many winners many times i was so craving that game when I got home from school. And then on top of that, the mini game, the boss fight, end game content, the replayability, everything that Dark Cloud 2 had to offer. Let's just call it Dark Cloud 2 because everybody that's watching this, if you are outside of the US, please leave a comment in the description. What am I saying? Comment section below. I'm just thriving off of this game right now. The things that I have researched while playing this game and trying to 100% complete it, which I have not done yet on the PS4 remastered, but game is rich. I wish I had gameplay to just add to this video to illustrate a little bit more. With visual aids, you can understand how Dark Cloud's illustration down to the character's character development, the character art, this boy that you are introduced with in the middle is just flawless. You're you're running in the pouring rain. You're wondering why he's even in the rain running to where he has to get to. But this boy is an inventor and that brings into the mechanics of how you're leveling up your weapons, how you're bringing in the mechanic of the RPG aspect. If you build up your weapons to a certain level, it makes the game a lot faster. It makes it a lot more in depth. Monica, when she is first introduced in the beginning, it's the other protagonist that you're gonna meet later. After you make your way out of the dungeon, the first dungeon that you play, the sewers, and you come out on the other side and you get your aspect of the game is going to be about. You learn how massive that game is. There's so much content in that one game. I was able to save so much of my mother's money. So much, so much extra game content is not seen in one game right out the gate like it was then. 
there's DLC now. There's all these other uh, added content bonuses that you have to purchase later. I like that time a little bit better. Now, don't get me wrong. I do like DLC, but I feel that some DLC could have been added to the game, as do a lot of other people. But let me digress. Dark Cloud 2, that game, just voice acting and soundtrack alone had me hooked. The Palm Brinks, the first level that you're in, was just well put together. I was just running around there listening to that nice France-esque type of tune, and it was just... It was just a nice melodic tune and I enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. Enjoyed it so much. Yo, I recommend anybody who has not played Dark Cloud 2 to pick up the game. You can get it on the PSN store. I think it's free still. I think it's free still. So I know when I get back home to my PS4, that's gonna be one of the games that I stream. I'm I'm thoroughly impressed with the game enough to be able to replay it and not get bored. There's very few games I can say about that, but this series that I just started with the introduction of this video that you're watching is going to be one of 10. So if you're interested in seeing what my other nine, yeah, nine, nine plus one is 10. If you're interested in knowing what my other nine favorite games are, please stay and watch what's next. I will be doing these pretty much the first week of January and the rest of December. <laughs> I'm really interested in hearing what your guys' favorite video games are and what they brought to the table for you. If you have not played Dark Cloud 2, let me reiterate this one more time. Go get the game. Find a friend that has a PlayStation 2. It's on Amazon. It's on all of these different websites. Get it. It is an amazing game. Georama is the main aspect of the game. Georama is what is going to build a whole city back together from destruction. And that's what the main antagonist of the game, Emperor Griffin, was set out to do. He was set out to create a whole new world, a whole new way of life. And you had to go in between different times to figure out what needed to happen, whether you needed to get 20 new citizens to one area, you needed to have two trees lined in one certain direction, or you needed to have a certain amount of lakes created. It was just, it was just something that I've never really seen before because I didn't play the first one. I'm losing my train of thought. Anywho, this game's storyline will leave you for a loop, and when you get to the end, you will never have guessed. Some may, some are better guessers than others, but I didn't guess that the story was gonna play out how it did. I don't wanna spoil the ending, so this is my cue to tell you to get the game one more time. I did it three times. I'm going to sell a game that I enjoy. I'm going to sell a game that I appreciate. I'm gonna sell a game that I adore. So that was my take on Dark Cloud 2. I will be recording Dark Cloud 2 sometime next year, even just for a first glimpse for people that are not sure if they wanna go pick it up. There's a lot of content out there talking about Dark Cloud 2. You can find it. I know that you will enjoy it. If you are an RPG fanatic like myself, you will enjoy this game. You will like it. It will be your best RPG of 2019. But that's the end of this video, so please do me a favor and smash that subscribe button and hit that notification bell and get involved with my social media. I'm gonna leave a link of all my social medias in the description below and then We'll be all connected. That's the end of this video. I will see you guys next time. Peace. I don't know why I just made a butterfly with my hands and, and faded out like that. I thought it would be cool. Kind of lame. Cue outro.